All right. Good morning, everyone. It's amazing you talk about jobs. People show up. <laughs> this is fantastic. This is a, a long time coming, uh, many years in the making. And uh, I'm just fortunate enough that I was part of the team that helped bring it in for a landing. So uh, very exciting today. But uh, with that, I want to kick it over to uh, a man who needs no introduction in this room, but uh, our chief executive officer of the state of Arkansas, Governor Asa Hutchinson. Uh, thank you, uh, Mike, uh, for your uh, great work on this project and for the introduction. I want to express appreciation for uh, the team from Arkadelphia that's here, as well as uh, all of those that are interested in a great project in South Arkansas. And I wanted to recognize Chairman Lee to my right, who is the founder of Sun Paper of Shandong Province in China. I also wanted to recognize Secretary Ma of Shandong Province. I want to recognize the uh, legislative delegation from Clark County, including uh, Senator Bruce Malik, uh, Representative Justin Gonzalez, and Representative Richard Womack. Last November, as you know, uh, I traveled to Shandong Province. Uh, I met with Chairman Lee. I toured uh, Sun Paper Company along with Mike Preston. While in China, uh, we signed a letter of intent, the half of the state of Arkansas with Sun Paper, indicating that Sun Paper wanted to put a uh, major bioproducts mill in uh, South Arkansas, in Arkansas, uh, and they had till May 1 to designate the specific site. And Sun Paper uh, wanted to make sure it was a, a good investment, that they had the raw material that was needed, the timber sources, as well as the logistics of the supply chain. And so we've gone through, uh, what is it, uh, four and a half months of negotiation and discussion on, uh, uh, on Arkansas's competitive position for this project. Uh, Chairman Lee and I met yesterday. Chairman Lee indicated to me that Sun Paper has selected Arkadelphia and Clark County as the location of a $1 billion bioproducts mill. This is one of the largest private investments in the history of the state of Arkansas. It will result in the creation over time of 250 direct jobs. Uh, 
but in a broader context, it will result in a real boost to the economy of South Arkansas throughout the timber industry. I not only think about the 250 direct jobs, but also uh, the log haulers, those in the fields, in the timber industry that will benefit from this extraordinary project and investment. And I wanted to say from a personal standpoint that Chairman Lee uh, is an extraordinary businessman. And a tough negotiator. <laughs> but when he saw the commitment of Arkadelphia, and I, I want to brag on all the Arkadelphia leadership for their investment, their intensity, their partnership, uh, the risk that they're willing to take to uh, make this happen is commendable and is a key part of this success. But, but back, to, back to Chairman Lee. Uh, Chairman Lee, uh, as founder of Sun Paper, uh, and Sun Paper is one of the 500 largest enterprises in China. With over 10,000 employees worldwide. Sun Paper, through Chairman Lee's leadership, is committed not only to invest in Arkansas to be a good corporate citizen of Arkansas. And with that, uh, let me introduce Chairman Lee for his comments. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, government officials and friends, thank you for coming. And thank you, Governor, and your team, and the ADC, and the team from Arkadelphia and other communities for your hard work during uh, the time of our investigation. We're delighted to announce a 1 to 1.3 billion capital investment project for bioproducts, uh, biorefinery mill, which will produce a variety of, of products derived from, from wood sources that will be located in Arkadelphia. This project will be the most modern, it will be the most modern the highest efficiency and most environmentally progressive factory in the pulp and paper industry in all of North America. We would like to extend uh, our special gratitude to Arkadelphia and the other communities that we have visited during our investigation here. We appreciate your hard work and we look forward to our continuing relationship in the many years to come. This product, uh, this project will create 250 direct jobs, but also up to 1,000 indirect jobs. Uh, and during the two and a half year construction period, we anticipate many, over 2,000 
construction jobs will also be created. During the time of our investigation, we visited many communities throughout the U.S. South and met many wonderful people, and we're delighted to finally find a place to call home. And we are looking forward to working closely uh, with, the, with the local people of South Arkansas and becoming a good citizen of Clark County in South Arkansas. And also, uh, we hope you can continue to show us the same uh, affection and openness as you have so far for the many years that we will be working together. Thank you very much. And if we would at this time, Chairman Lee and the Governor uh, have an MOU here in front of them that we're going to sign. Uh, and then also we needed uh, Clark County, if, uh, Stephen, if you wanted to come up and sign for Clark. And, uh, and Eric, you guys come on up. Why don't you all stand with stand us here? here. We're very proud of that. And you might even have some sign up. It's an American custom that we take questions from the press. Uh, are there any questions? The MOU outlines, uh, in general uh, detail, the create rebate, uh, other uh, tax incentives that are included uh, in this package, as well as some infrastructure investments, uh, both by Clark County, AEDC, uh, and the state of Arkansas. Mike, you want to? That's just to reiterate, within the, the MOU, you'll, you'll see it defined in the create rebate, which is obviously it's based on uh, payroll uh, and performance. Uh, and then, as the governor mentioned, some um, uh, uh, grant funding to assist on some infrastructure from both the state and from Arkadelphia, as well as other incentive programs. Do you have to hold a special session? No. Well, yeah, yeah. Just, just saying, we're going to interpret here okay. for a second. Uh 
And, and so this is not an Amendment 82 project. It does not have to go back to the legislature. I do want to recognize uh, Chairman of Joint Budget that was here, Senator Larry Teague, though, and I want to make sure he's on board with this. Is he still here? Uh, but uh, please mention him that I uh, recognize Larry Teague. Uh, question? Uh,就是说呢,就是这个项目的话呢,不会再通过议会那边的批准,就是我们州长的话完全有权来决定给予太阳子爷这个项目的这个奖励计划。What is the, the total value of the incentive package? Go ahead. Uh, the total, we'll, we'll have to get you that number as a, as a total, but um, a lot of it is, as I mentioned before, it's, it's performance based, so it depends on an up to amount, so there's ranges within there, but we can kind of give you a range of where that'll will come down to. And again, it's not just strictly incentive, some of it is on infrastructure to help on, uh, you know, rail, uh, other things like that, and assets that'll be in the ground. Andrew. Uh, when, when is construction set to begin on this? And also, I guess, question for Chairman Lee, why why was our Arkadelphia shows and what other sites were looked at and why, why was Arkadelphia better than those sites? In terms of the uh, first question, uh, Chairman Lee is in uh, first steps is the permitting process. Uh, they have to uh, get the permits. Uh, we promise to expedite that. They're interested in moving forward very quickly. And Chairman Lee uh, might have a further comment. Anjan, why don't you come up here to the microphone? Um, so we've been uh, investigating uh, a place to build this facility for, for over four years. And we've, during that time, we visited many wonderful communities in Arkansas and in other places. And uh, we've received all of their uh, virtues and the competitive bids for the site process. But uh, for Arkadelphia, obviously, it was the timber resources available in that area that are some of the richest in the nation. Uh, but it was also very important, uh, the personal relationship that we've established with Arkansas during that time, both with Arkadelphia, uh, Governor Hutchinson, and Governor Beebe before him. Um, so it was a combination of those factors. And to answer your question about the timing of the project, uh, we are aiming for uh, first half 2000, next year, uh, beginning of construction. We have one question over here. Can you be more specific about where in Arkadelphia and Clark County this is and what kind of infrastructure is Clark County, Clark County Industrial Park, Gum Springs. One last question. So when do you expect to have 250 people hired? The MOU says within four years uh, is the time frame for the investment uh, and the full employment. Thank you all very much for this important announcement today and for your participation.